Hi everyone, hope you're well. Thank you so much for watching our latest video. We are Road to Disney. I'm Colin. I'm Shona. And this is our, what are we, it's the end of July. So it's our August, we're saying August, even though it's July, August 2018 Disney haul. Yay! We always like doing the arms, don't we? I know. It's weird because you can't even see the end of our arms because they like disappear <laughs> off the side of the camera. So we uh, we haven't done a haul in a few months. So that, ow, actually hurt. <laughs> uh, uh, we actually haven't done a haul in quite a while. The last one was in March, March 2018. Insane. And it's weird. Like we've been meaning to do a haul for a new haul for quite a while now because over the past few months we have uh, acquired a lot more Disney things. Um, below us, we've got all the items we're going to talk about and there's like a huge mammoth pile down here so uh, hopefully this video won't be as long as last time which was 40 minutes so uh, we're going to go through what we purchased um, mm -hmm. some of it we've had for quite a while so we'll try and remember how much it was um, luckily a few of the things still have the tags on so that's helpful but um, a few things have been with us for quite a while so we'll probably have to guess or guesstimate mm. Mm. the right saying is uh, so yeah, this should be fun, go through our Disney stuff, and um, hopefully you guys will find it interesting. And I'm assuming a lot of you will maybe have the sa similar stuff as well. Wait and see. So, without further ado, let us begin by starting with... I'm going to let Shane the start because you've got a huge pile of things you want to go I through. I do, don't know. I seem to have a lot of pyjamas. You can tell pyjamas is my thing. You are a massive fan of pyjamas. Honestly, it, it amazes me how many pairs of pajamas pajama can fit in one drawer. A lot. Yes, I recently had a clear out because um, I've been buying so many. And the thing with me, as soon as I get home, I like to put pajamas on. So it's kind of pajamas and loungewear, I would call it. So the first thing I got, also, um, it was specifically talking Primark because um, although their quality isn't the best, where else can you get pajamas that are this Disney? I don't know, I think their quality is pretty good. Mm, it depends. I no, It's not consistent. Like this, these pair of pajamas I've got here, because I don't have to hold Exhibit, exhibit A. I think, can you read that? You can read that. What does it say? Switching to sleep mode. Like, uh, it's cringe. But <laughs> how often do you get 101 Dalmatians pajamas? Not very often. So that's the top. And then the matching bottoms that came as a set from Primark. With these ones. They are cute. Now I'm trying to remember the name of the actual, because I've not seen 101 Dalmatians in a very long time. And that's what's good about Primark recently. I know mm. Primark are really good for showcasing Disney um, clothing and Disney items. Mm. But what's really good is that they showcase the films that aren't, well they're popular, but they yeah, showcase the I mean. films that haven't had as much love as say yeah. other ones. So the fact that there's 101 Dalmatians, I know Cav Kids and had the 101 Dalmatians range recently. Mm. These are really nice. I mean, the, the, it doesn't seem like the top really goes with the bottoms. It's like they're completely different. No, it's different. the same pattern. It's the same Actually, picture though. Actually, I guess inside, like you see there's like yeah, they've got pattern the same there, it's the same the pattern that's on the bottoms here. So, I'm trying to remember the name of the two the two dogs here. There's two here. I know one's one Lucky. Lucky. I can't remember what this no, other one's called. I can't there used to be a spin-off animated show on a cart uh, Toon Disney, I think it was called. That was 101 Dalmatians. Mm. And that was, um, it was Lucky. No, I think it was Lucky... Really Porky and can't remember. Rolo? <laughs> no, I don't. Know. There was one called Rolo. Rolo. And he was think... Porky. There's no Porky. No, there was. No, this is the spin-off TV show I watched. You never, you'd never seen it. I showed, I played you the intro, and you'd never heard of it. Before. No, but there's definitely. And there's a, one. there's a chicken in it as well. It was a very strange show, but it was really good. And I think that maybe that's one, one of them. Looks like that, so maybe that's who it is. But uh, how much are we saying that these were? Remember? I want to say these are ten pound because the one these come as a set, so you can't buy them separately. Um, and normally they're about a tenner, which isn't a lot, but for Primark I do think that's quite a lot. That's really, ten pounds for pyjamas, that's really good. Is it though? I think it's good, yeah. They used to be about, I know it's only two pound less, but they used to be about eight pounds. They've gone, they've definitely gone up in price. It is cute. But I've, considering how much I've worn these, the pattern's not cracked yet on the top and the colour's not faded. That's why the quality's actually pretty good. You know, Primark in the past, mm. you'd say the quality wouldn't be great. But I think well, I donated, um, Colin was looking for my Finding Dory pyjamas. Um, yeah, I don't know why I put them there. I'll put them behind us the stuff we've done. Um, yeah, Colin was looking for my Finding Dory pyjamas I got from Primark. But I told him I donated them to charity. Because they're a horrible, like I am a very hot person. Um, hence why as soon as I get home. 
from work I have to get changed into something ca more casual and comfy anyway. Straight in the PJs. But, oh, they're this horrible, unbreathable, almost like swimming costume material. I should have really thought about it before I purchased them. So they went to the charity shop. <laughs> but um, another one, which I've actually not worn, because we, where we've had a heat wave in the UK, I must have brought these maybe a month ago, and it's just been too hot to wear them. It's this stitch t-shirt. This is really cute, I love this. Primark have got so much stitch stuff in at the moment, it's about time they got Stitch. Stitch is the most sellable Disney property at the moment. Everyone loves Stitch. You know, all the Stitch things we saw when we were at Disney World last yeah. year. All the plushies, all the, the bellhop Stitch in the um, yeah. Tower of Terror. Oh, the bottoms are cute as well. Yeah. These, these are the reason why I'm not being able to wear them, because they, <laughs> they're really creased where right? they've been in my drawer. But if you hold them up closer, quickly, you can see that he's holding all the different letters of Stitch. That's really nice. So cute. That. Yeah. I love those. I, I gets... didn't realise that actually. Yeah, he's holding yeah. a C. There's when it a gets cooler, tea. I'll definitely be able to wear them. It's just been too hot. Yeah, they are Hence really nice. The humidity hair. <laughs> I, would, I would say we don't get much stitch love in that Primark actually, so no. it's good that we've well, got getting some more all stitch. All of a sudden, love. they seem to have released loads. I don't know what it is because Stitch, you know, the film Lilo Stitch is one of my. Well, one of my favourite Disney films. Well, maybe but, um, it's sort of do with licensing, isn't it? Because although this is, um, Ilica has got a Disney label. I don't know how it works. They've got Disney labels in them, but obviously Primark are being. I don't know. Do Primark pay? I've no Disney? idea. Disney. I don't know how it works, but, but it's, it's making if... it's made pre making them both a tiny profit though. Mm. Disney and Primark loving it. How much was the? Um, oh yeah, the sorry. Promise? Again, about ten pound. Because they came as a set. And how long ago is it you got them? About a month ago. So I'm not too sure. Um, they do change their Disney store quite regularly. So they might Norm still be available. But That's why normally not. if I see something I like it, I buy it. it. Yeah, because yeah, you be can't guarantee one. it'll be there. Hmm. Now, um, Primark have also, when I brought these, have released better sizes. So this is 2XL in women's, which isn't my size. But where it's been so hot and I hate clothes being clingy in bed, I thought, sod it, I'm just going to go bigger. And like with Primark stuff, when I said that this set was six pound, once you wash it anyway, um, it shrinks up so easily. So I'm really pleased that they do bigger clothes now. Is this pajamas or is this? Oh yeah, yeah, it's pajamas. More you could wear it. Pajamas. You could wear it as a top, but no. Lovely big suit. It's Definitely pajamas. Yeah, it's the same stitch same. that's on. Let's see if it's the same image of stitch area. Yeah, is. So is it that's... The same? That's this one, and that's the yeah, yes. it's exactly oh, yeah. the same, exactly the same stitch image. That's what's clever about Primark. They'll use the same image, but they'll just change it slightly, Didn't and notice. it still looks like a completely different design. Um, did you get bottoms for these as well? Yeah, so this came as a set too, mm. and this set was six pounds. This was more recently. This is maybe two weeks ago. So again, <laughs> they look really big. Stitch, you see, that's quite a common trend for. Um, what Primark do with their designs, they'll have like an image, there's actually a couple of different stitch images mm. on here, but they will like flip it, put them upside down, and it'll be the same image over and over again, but it'll be like upside down, backwards. Well that's what makes me think they've just had the go ahead to use these different images, and that's why they've created all these different yeah. patterns. How much do you reckon they were? Well, I've said six pound. That's a bargain. Yeah, they Good were a bargain. Um, shall I quickly, or do you want to quickly do some I think pajamas? while we're on the pajamas, yeah, let's there's a lot more pajamas to go through, so let's uh, keep two the more, train two going. More. The, I so really like these ones. These, these came favorites. not as part of a set, so these were £5 on their own. Again, came in 2XL, so I went for it. Um, I had to get these because they've got Pluto on and hardly anything that's female in Primark has Pluto on it. <laughs> there you go, not you so see hot, Pluto now. but... They had to come home with me. Yeah, that's very nice. What does he say? It says Mickey and Friends, Friends. there. It's Pluto, Mickey. Pluto okay. doesn't get as much love as no. he should. He's a fantastic I character. Love Pluto. And we've done a previous video on our, um, our dislike on character meets, how we don't really enjoy them. But I would say if we had to meet a character, Pluto would always be the one we'd want. Pluto is always a lot of fun mm. to me. He's always very, uh, I like Pluto too. very funny. Yeah. And he's just a cute character as well, isn't he? There was actually a top man. Not Tom Man, the River Island Pluto shirt they released last year, but mm. oh, I couldn't justify getting it because I'm it was 20 quid. Spent, well, more than that, wasn't it, was, it? It was just a little Pluto on the pocket. Yeah, but, I think um, it was more than that. I think it was more than like 30. So that was just bottoms you got? Yeah, that? they did have matching tops, but I didn't need them. How much? Five pounds. Five pounds! Let, let's five not pound. add up how much I've spent on 
pajamas. No, no. To be fair, I would say we're pretty restrained. We could easily buy more oh, Disney things. Oh, yeah. But, and this, um, as Quinn said, this is over five months. So. This, yeah, this is now this <coughs> one. I go go back to what I said earlier about how Primark has been making products mm. or films that aren't potentially like really high in people's not like wishes, mainstream ones. Mainstream ones. I mean, obviously, Lady and the Tramp, very popular. But um, you don't see many Lady in the Tramp no, and these, um, items And these now. are so cute. These were £8. Again, came as a set. So Very it's nice a best there. top and shorts. Together, Lady um, Tramp. Um, it's just the same image over and over again. Yeah. Uh, well, there's a couple of images, actually. There's Lady on her own, there's Tramp there, and, uh, and both of them together. That's nice. It's just, I think that's what you said when you um, came home and told me you bought them. It's because you just don't get many uh, Lady in no. the Tramp. Products not, all, no. not even in the parks. You don't really get anything no. apart from like, you know, a, a lady or a tram plushie. But no, it's nice. Mm. Really nice. I love them. Eight pound, and then got came with the sh matching shorts. Too. Eight squid. These are probably still available actually. We've got yeah, these I only got these last week. week. So yeah, check if check out, check them out, see if you can see them. There was a big range. They had like tramp, like leggings, but because I wanted um, shorts, I went for these. That's the pajamas. Jesus. So I think that's about 50 quid's worth. <laughs> that's not bad though, considering how many pairs of pajamas no. you've got, that is alright. Well, actually no, it can't be 20... No, about 40. It's alright. It's alright. <laughs> I'm going to quickly do a couple of things now. Uh, I've got a few things I want to talk about. Uh, firstly, very briefly going to mention this. Now this was a gift, so we don't know how much this is. So no we don't idea. even know where it was bought from. No but idea. It is a really Winnie the Pooh person. cushion. You see there's Winnie the Pooh, there's Eeyore. Piglet's on there as well, um, nice pattern on it as well, and on the front, it's Piglet, let's see if I can get it in focus, I think you can just really see that, yep, see it says Piglet holding some flowers and it even has Shona's name at the bottom, so this was a uh, birthday present mm -hmm. um, for Shona from one of her friends, very thoughtful, very nice soft pillow, yeah, but we don't know where it's from, so no idea. Uh, I if, anyone, ask. Yeah, if anyone out there has an idea of where this pillow, this cushion is from, please let us know. It's very nice. I know Winnie the Pooh is getting a lot of attention at the moment, obviously with Christopher Robin coming yeah. out this year. Um, actually next week I think that film comes out. And um, you know, all the other things about Winnie mm. the Pooh as well lately. And uh, I think Clinton's had the range as well. I'm going over to So yeah, really at the moment Winnie the Pooh is really, really popular. But it's very nice. It's good to have Piglet on the front. It's very cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's quickly do my mugs. I've got two mugs I want to talk about. Firstly, this one. Pluto. And speaking of Kath Kidson, who we've spoken about quite a lot in the past, uh, as Shona said, we've mentioned our love for Pluto. This Pluto mug, which was in Kath Kidson. That was part of when we did our last tour, I showed you all the stuff that we got yeah. from that particular range. I can't remember, I don't know what they called it, Mickey and Friends, I guess? Uh, I think it was, yeah, Mickey Mouse. It just says the Mickey Mouse collection on the bottom here. Yeah, and that was the one that stuck around for months and months and months. And they just seemed to have an ongoing sale. And you got that mug for what, four pound? Yeah, it was about. I or think maybe it was six about, actually, because I think originally they were twelve yeah. each. Yeah, they were not. They're quite expensive, but with all the Disney ranges they have, like Peter Pan, the mm. Alice in Wonderland mm. one, which is the most recent, Mickey and Friends, Dalmatians, they always have a massive sale at the end. Once it's been out for a couple of months or a couple of weeks actually. Well this has been the longest one and the one that's had the most items in it. Though. Yeah, this is this was on sale for quite a while before I bought it. As Shane said, about four quid, I think down from about eight or ten. Um, it's a really nice little mug, blue, spotty and Pluto's really cute. It was Always definitely lovely, originally Pluto. twelve, because I remember when I, I wanted to get one I thought, God that would be £24 on two mugs. So it was definitely £12 originally. And wor sometimes worth waiting for the Cav Kids mm. just because they can be um, well, discounted quite heavily. That's the risk you take though, because some stuff st sells out and you never see it back in stock, or other stuff, they get back in stock and then put it on sale, so it's it's the gamble. Depends if you like something that much. And if you haven't bought any of the Alice in Wonderland stuff yet, maybe wait, because mm. it'll probably be on sale very soon. I think so. I don't know how popular that's been, to be honest. Alice in Wonderland isn't my favourite film, so I've not been interested at all in it, really. Yeah, the range is okay. It's not one of the better ones. No, opinion. they've had nicer ones than that. But, um, but then, the bags and stuff are quite expensive. Oh, it is a lot of money. Yeah. So, continuing the mug train, 
Shona got me a mug last week. Um, I don't drink many hot drinks. I don't drink tea or coffee. I do drink hot chocolate, but my mug collection seems to be going up and up. <laughs> it is. Uh, I'm looking at the Baymax one on your desk that I yeah, forgot you had. I've got a Baymax <laughs> one. I've got a Stormtroop. I've got a sorry Phasma one from Star Wars. I've got a Santa mug as well. Got so many mugs, and I don't <laughs> drink hot drinks. It's crazy. Um, but they're actually used for pen pots, so they're not too bad. But uh, Shona got me another mug last week because one of my favourite characters from the uh, the main uh, Disney troupe of characters is Goofy. Um, Goofy doesn't get as much love, love either for um, t-shirts and mer general mm. merchandise, in my opinion, mm. even one of my favorite characters. So uh, Shane went to the Disney store, our local-ish Disney store last week, and bought me this Goofy mug. Again, it was in the up. sale. Yeah. It was three quid. This was, yeah, this was three pounds. I don't, normally the mugs are probably about 12, 13 mm. pounds. So that's actually really good. And it's a you know, love, nice old style goofy head there saying, whoa, gosh. <laughs> I know quite a few of the Disney family out there. Do they have, laugh? Um, I can't. Go on. I can't. Um, you can. Ooh, wee. <laughs> There's people who can do it much better than me. I'm sure they find it funny. Probably it's so bad. I do. Uh, another different image on the back. Um, it says, uh, gosh as well. Yeah, so it's very nice smug. It's green handle, green inside as well. And Disney Store logo stuff there. So it's a really nice mug. Um, the bit on this side actually sticks out a little bit where it says Golsh with a big um, comic mm. book fashion there. Yeah, comic book style, that's the type. I mean, you can probably fit quite a lot in here as well. It's, it gets wider as it gets to the top, so mm. it's a good size mug as well. But for three quid, that is an absolute bargain in my opinion. Um, so they're really nice. And yeah, Goofy needs more loving. That's uh... The only ones they had left was that one and Donald. I recognised it from when I looked online. They had um, those mugs for all the different characters, but all that was left was Donald and Goofy. Maybe so maybe choice. that's why there's not so much merchandise, because they obviously don't sell, do they? It's like mm. the old comic style. Mm. Um, maybe people just want to clean. It's called Pop Art, mm. I think this is called. So it's like the hotel, Pop Tentry Hotel at um, Disney World. I just like it, and you would like it too. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. It's green's not really his colour, though. It's, just, it's, it's, mm. hat, it's hat normally green, isn't it? Mm. So that's probably why it's green. Um, but yeah, very nice. Only three quid. What's next? So I went to pay for the mug. The kind man behind was like, would you like one of our reusable bags? This is at the Disney store. <laughs> oh yeah, this is at the Disney store. One of the cast members. And I was like, well, how can I say no to this? <laughs> it, again, it's got all the different princesses on it. Who, who have we got here, Shaz? I can't even see. It's Mulan. It's Mulan and Tiana. So scenes from Mulan and Tiana there. Is Rapunzel on there as well? Nope, she's on the other side. No. No, it's just the two. No, it Rapunzel's not. No. What's that then? Oh, it's a, a fan. No, so yeah, Mulan and Tiara. Tiana, Tiara? Tiara, not Tiara, Tiana, sorry. Uh, on and this then side. on the back, you've got Belle, Jasmine and Cinderella. This is only £3, and what I liked about this is it's got a zip. Yes. And it's a decent size. Let's see the zip here, I'll give you a demonstration. Oh my god, a great zip, a great zip. Brilliant zip, but forgetting that, the design's very nice. I mean, there you there. go. We, we know how to work a zip, that's good. Um, so, yeah, zips on there, I like the scenery in the background. It's like the new animated stars mm. of the princesses. This, mm. this sort of style is um, coming more prominent on uh, merchandise from Disney lately. I like the cast in the background as well. I really like using these bags whenever, um, whenever we're going to visit family. I always seem to be taking loads of stuff around. Yeah. So I like to just shove it all in little bags like this. You probably fit quite a lot in here as well. Yeah, it's quite like a good size. And it says Disney Store. I like the, the colour, I like the pattern. Side. Yeah, it's a nice colour. It's really nice actually. So this costs the same amount as the mug. That is bizarre. That's it good. is bizarre. And, sh can... and shout out to the cast member in the uh, Southampton oh, Disney Store. Oh, I can't his name. He was really he was sweet. very nice. They're always very nice in there. but um, he, was ask he was asking me if the mug was for me. And I said, no, it's my boyfriend. And he thought that was really sweet that I'd not bought myself anything. I was like, well, I'll get the bag. <laughs> so you did, yeah. I got everyone, the bag. You spent the same amount on yourself, you did on me. Now, Sharon, very quickly. Yeah, on this uh, reusable bags. This is a reusable bag we bought from Primark. This, we, I probably saw, I don't know if we've spoken about this before, but this is. Uh, I've used it to death. This is a fantastic reusable bag. You see, it's Mickey. He it says, oh boy. So loads of Mickeys and loads of oh boys. And it's a fantastic size. It fits so much. We use it for. Like if we go clothes shopping, food shopping, they sell different type, like just by the till in Primark you can pick these up. I've got a um, Aladdin one, I've got a Belle one, 
um, because they really do fit so much and what you do is just fold them down and put them into this little pouch here yes. which then fits in your handbag so there's no excuse to be damaging the environment no more plastic with your plastic bags even Disney's doing that now getting rid of the old straws they are. and uh, all the products they're getting rid of products in hotel rooms soon as well because they're plastics that's a good idea because yeah. who really uses them? no one unless they had a shower gel oh god that's another story that is another story. Uh, right, it's got a few more things to go through, so let's do The this. rest of them is my stuff. Now this was Shona's idea to buy this, and I'm glad she did, so... Colin was on the fence, because he <laughs> yeah. thought it was an awkward shape. Now, it's creeping into shop. If anyone's got the Disney store on Instagram, they'll have seen this... <laughs> they'll have seen this figure of beauty. This lemon wedge... It is uh, so nice. ...cooler bag. Now they were really pushing this a couple of months they ago. Were. There was a discount on it. How much was it? It was. Um, I I think I paid four pounds for it. Four pounds for this, which or is really good. You can see the Mickey heads along here. No, it was too cheap. I reckon it's about a five. It was quite cheap, wasn't it? It was like a limited um, time offer, and it's a, it's a weird curved shape. It, it actually fits, it fits quite a lot. lot. It's very deep, and um, you obviously couldn't put all your food in here for a family, but we went. Um, for a picnic recently, and we fitted everything in, didn't we? Oh yeah, easily. Easily, so it was a really good size. I was a little disappointed when it came. It had a few marks on it, so I don't know if um, it had been taken from a, the shop floor and had been kind of, because um, it's a bit of a funny material, so it does mark easily. I was just a little disappointed the fact it was brand new, it was already marked, yeah. but I paid so little for it. And it is, at the end of the day, just a picnic bag. Yeah, so, I mean, when, if you've um, been in two minds about this, I don't know if they've still got it available, I imagine they probably do, but... They had one in the sh in the shop uh, mm. last week. Uh, I, didn't look, I didn't look how much it was, because nice. I've already got one. Nice colour as well, isn't it? But uh, if I you're a bit say... on the fence about how big, it's, it's a good size for two people, two people I would say, yeah. not a family. If, two, no. you, if you want it for a family, it's probably worth getting two of these, because... Um, yeah. But it's so lightweight, so I hate cool bags or picnic bags that are heavy when they're empty. And this is the coolest bag you'll get. <laughs> and it's got, yeah, hand straps. Try to demonstrate how you can... Uh... And Colin carried it cross body. <laughs> I hope. I hope. <laughs> I can't really get it fully in shot. Let me, uh, oh my do god. This. Oh my god, so cool. Hey man. <laughs> hey. Which way to Florida? This way? <laughs> It's good. It's good. <laughs> it's good. Uh, right, I okay. Wanna, oh, stop, stop. We don't said how much it was originally. I think it was about 20, 25, which I thought yeah. was... <sighs> yeah, I wouldn't spend that on expensive. it. Expensive. wouldn't spend that on it, I don't think. No, I completely agree. Now, these two purchases are some of my favourites, no. but they're showing us purchases. So, Colin, um, I can't remember why you, what the occasion was that you bought this. You said you liked it. And you made no. Yes. A, I no, but I'd seen... You know, on as you, you guys probably all know, if you're big on the Disney Instagram and di uh, Disney Twitter, like they, they're sort of like flavors of the week and flavors of the month, where something's new in at a shop, mm. and everyone will post pictures of it, and everyone has to have it. And Primark is one of the prime examples of mm -hmm. that. And when Primark has the new products in, and they're nice, you just see it on Instagram stories, on Twitter, oh, yeah. on Instagram, Facebook, everything like that. All the Facebook groups that are Disney orientated. Now this one, I really like the design of this mm. and so many other Disney YouTubers and Disney vloggers and uh, Disney Instagrammers have as well. Mm. So most of you out there probably already have this, but this bag, crossbody bag from Primark, is perfect. It's going to come with us when we go to Paris um, in a couple of months time. And what I love about this as well is I love the Mickey head yeah, on the zip. Yeah, little gold it's Mickey so zip. So nice, really, really. So it's nice. double zip. So you got two pouches. So you you do fit a lot in here. Yeah, let's unzip it. So yeah, I don't know why I've still got the tag on. Because you've not used it yet. Yeah, no. I think but... we're sort of saving it for Paris when we go to uh, Paris in under fifty days now, people. <laughs> so close, can't wait. Uh, yes, yeah, there's only two little pockets, but you do fit quite a lot in there. It's just a really nice pattern. They had a makeup bag as well with this same pattern mm. on, but Shona's probably got too many. enough makeup bags for uh, 20 people, so <laughs> I decided not to get that on. But this was only £8, and £8 is actually really good for mm. this. It's really nice quality as well, actually. It is, yeah. It's like a faux leather feel. We've not used it out in the wild yet. Shona's not used it in the wild, so can't comment on how, you know, whether it damages easily, Durable, but it's really yeah. nice at the moment. And uh, yeah, it'd be a nice thing to take to Paris with us. So that's um, it's a nice long strap as well. 
Just, just, just really nice. It came um, as a rucksack too that I've seen people use. It's yeah. the same pattern, same colour. A lot of people bought the whole set. But I wanted the crossbody. Yeah. That's really nice. Any eight quid. Brilliant. Our next one, even even nicer. Now, once again, this was a couple of months ago, a uh, month and a half ago now, maybe, maybe early June. Where Same this thing was happened. All, all over, over Instagram. Instagram. This was, everyone was talking about this. And that's it's really handy, actually, because that's how we find out about yeah. these products. Like, they say this thing about, you know, um, influencers, social influencers, like popular bloggers and things like that. And it really is true. It's true, yeah. Because if it wasn't for online, the social media, we wouldn't have known about these products. No. Um, so, this one is the Mickey as a mini Mickey, oh, Mickey, and, Mickey and Minnie uh, rucksack, rucksack which is really really nice lovely pattern lovely color as well I like yeah the, uh, I really like the colors and again it's that sort of like faux leathery feel to yeah. it yeah so same material as the other one um, it's made of and uh, it's got a big old zip pocket at the front here which you can fit quite a lot in and it's, it's got a big space in here a similar yes it's a similar this style one here yeah the whole um, similar Start, to yeah. the Cav Kitson one. Yeah, so this is the Cav Kitson notebook that we've spoken about before. You see it's the same sort of um, design, so that's good. Um, but yeah, it's really big, um, nice pocket at the front, and the zip. Be careful the zip. Yeah, it's a fragile. Primark ones. zips are notoriously, f are notorious uh, of being... It smells of nothing. No, it doesn't actually. It doesn't smell of anything. And notorious of being quite fragile. Yeah. So I am denied whether to get this, because again, I wanted to use this for my hand luggage when we go to Paris, mm. and um, take down the parks too. Some pockets here as well. Um, this would be perfect to take around the parks at yeah. um, Disneyland Paris because you can fit quite a fair bit in here. It's, it's yeah. good size. But really without good size. it being too big as well. Yeah. Do you want to sport it, stand up and wear it? I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me just show you how the best way to wear this, guys. Hey. Which way is no, California? The best, no, the best way is on your chest. Yeah. Then this is what you have to do. Then they say pit pockets. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's the go. way to do it. Yeah. Uh, so, how much was this shot? Tenner. Ten pounds, ten British 10 pounds. pounds. That's really good. I've not. I don't know if this is still available. Once again, I don't know because again, they, it comes and goes so quick. Yeah. I saw they had a matching makeup bag, which I did really want, but talked myself out of it because again, Shona's good at doing that. Like we'll go around Primark, she'll <laughs> shove loads of things in the basket, or they don't have trolleys, but basket, and then we'll be two seconds from going to the counter or the till, it's true. and she'll be like, I don't need that. I'll put it back. So true. that's why I had to buy both of those for yeah. her because she wasn't going to get them herself. That's not true. No, you would not have bought that right side for yourself. I was I, I no, I for me. I feel guilty, but I really like it. I don't know. Disney guilt. <laughs> so when, we think, when we go to Disneyland Paris and we buy all the merchandise there, how guilty we're going to be after that. We told ourselves, you know. Yeah, we've actually. Normally, when we go on holiday to Disney, which is about four, three, four times, three times we've been mm. to a Disney park now together. We've always been a bit restrained on things we buy. Like we've been strict. Like you know, we want to. We we know what we want. Only buy food if you really need it. But I think for this trip in September, we're old enough and ugly enough to know that if we want food, if we want a Disney snack, we're going to get it. Yeah. If we want a Disney t-shirt, we're going to buy it. No more feeling... This is like, Disney's our thing, and it's our holiday this year. I know. We want to buy stuff that we really like and not be held back. That's why I've been looking at all the uh, food options. At yeah, oh my Paris. god. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, they've got like a little food stall up for this. I think it's World Food... Yeah, month or something. In the studios, wasn't it? In the studios near the Ratatouille ride, which is actually closed somewhere there, annoyingly. But um, they're going to have crepes. And she likes like crepes. I do. She likes crepes. She likes Nutella as well, uh, apparently. Get off me. She doesn't like Nutella. No, so. I don't. Um, I do. We've got one more thing, I think. Is this it? No, uh, no two, more. Well. two more. Two more things. Two more. Bear with, bear with. So, speaking of our upcoming trip, I brought this t shirt to wear. Now, I don't know if I'm going to wear it. You mean, of course you're going to wear it. Well, I don't know what I'm going to wear it with, because... Jeans. Oh, I'm not a jean person. Call and tell you, I'm much... Well, the weather's so unpredictable, isn't it? Yeah, it could be wet and rainy, it could be really hot. I'll make it work, though, because I love Stitch. And this is £8. Such a lovely... It's like a patch. Yeah. It's really nice. It's cute. Lovely. Oh, Stitch is just so, so darn cute, isn't he? How much he is, is this again? £8. £8 again. This was um, Primark as well, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So it's a really nice quality t-shirt. This should still be available as well because this was only purchased recently. It was, yeah. Um, I mean, it's just the one image. It's a really nice t-shirt actually. And um, normally I don't really like stripy tops like this because mm. I find a bit of an eyesore. But it's, it's, this one's really nice. I like it. Stitching. Nice soft material as well. And obviously mm -hmm. Stitch is uh, you know, the main reason you would buy it. That's a good one. Well, the reason why I say I might not wear it is because um, I prefer, my to, prefer to wear dresses, don't I? I just brought it because I like the stitch on it. I don't really know what I'm going to wear it with, but we shall see. 
We'll see. It could be anything. So, yes, last but certainly not least, as you know, we've spoken about um, yes. my Pandora charm bracelet before. And I'm starting to build up the collection of Disney charms. Of course. And I saw that for the 80th anniversary, they've released a Snow White charm. Now, Snow White, Snow White, Snow White is my favourite Disney princess. This was quite the investment. I want to say it's about £60, which I don't know why, because it's not real crystals. Yes, it's real silver. Yes, it's in, engraved. And as you can see, if you turn it, it says, does it say for True Love's first kiss on it? Love's first kiss, yeah. Yeah, so maybe on the try side. And show the the side. So it, has got very some, it has got some really nice detail. And the prince and Snow White having a little smoocheroo. <laughs> but £60 steep. It is steep. But it's limited edition. It was my favourite Disney princess. And I really, really liked it. Yeah, you see they're kissing there. Just about to see that, I think. There you go. Love's first kiss. And you've got the picture of them smooching. So that'll be it until we go to... I got this maybe back in... A few months ago now. May? It may have been. Oh no, it's April because I used my birthday money. Yes. But that'll be it now until we go to Paris. <laughs> I'm sure. Where, where, I'm sure. No, we've not looked, have we? So I haven't been tempted. There's Disneyland Paris charms which we're hoping to get. Yeah. I know they did sell out, but I'm hoping they're going to restock. Mm, I hope so too. Um, for when we go, because, um, yeah. And we also want the Starbucks mug as well. Yeah, Starbucks mug, Pandora charm. And whatever's in the world of Disney shop. <laughs> It's the statue of Walt and Mickey that I want. Yes, the statue of Walt and Mickey, which um, I've wanted for a long time. They they had a Christmas ornament. Oh, there's the, yeah, there's a, a charm. charm yeah. There's also a little Christmas ornament as well mm. that I've wanted. I've not been able to find it, which is annoying. That's it. That, that completes our haul, yes. For August 2018. Bruh. Thank you for watching, everyone. Um, let us know your thoughts on things we've bought, things that you like the look mm -hmm. of, things that you don't like the look of. We want to hear all of it. We don't mind if it's negative. Um, Any recommendations, things that we need to check out because I always like to know what's out there so if I need any more encouragement but yeah. Yeah, any stitch items, any more charms that you like, mm -hmm. like anything in Disneyland Paris that you think we yes, should look out for. Yes, that's a good idea, that, is, be, that would be good, handy. yes because, please. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming the one of the next videos that will be uploaded mm. in Disney World will be our Disneyland Paris vlogs and our Disneyland Paris haul. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. There's that we want to actually buy matching. We we uh, mentioned matching T-shirts. Disneyland Paris. They did release a new batch of shirts recently with an Emperor's New Groove style yeah. on. Yeah. You never get any Emperor's New Groove no. stuff. But uh, yeah, not too sure on the de design, unfortunately. But um, no, Disney what they're doing by releasing stuff that you don't normally get merchandise of. It's a really good idea. Oh yeah, I mean Emperor's mm. New Groove is a very, it's one of my favourite Disney films of all time. I absolutely love that film as a kid, love it now, one of the funniest ones. It didn't get as much love, it's got a sort of a cult following that mm. people look back and say, oh yeah, I love that film, but back when it first came out, it didn't really get much fanfare. You don't really get anything at the park, there's not really no. any, no, any no merchandise it, for it. No. I mean, it was, along that, it was around that sort of time where Atlantis came out, mm. Treasure Planet, what I think it's called, Treasure Planet. Mm. So it was those three films sort of came out in the early 2000s, and Treasure Planet and Atlantis were okay but they were nowhere near as good as Emperor's New Groove mm -hmm. which was absolutely brilliant and that spurned the spin-off of Crunk's New Groove and also the TV show Emperor's New School which shouldn't have been cancelled after two se seasons that, have, that was hilarious that show um, with Yzma and Crunk which is fantastic um, but yeah more oh, merchandise gosh. please anyway that's about it sorry ah, just... that was forceful as well <laughs> Jesus! Thanks very much! Thanks for watching everyone. We'll be back very soon with more videos. Uh, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to us. I know everyone else is saying this, why not click the bell button next to subscribe? Because then you'll know whenever we upload videos, which is very sporadic and very random. <laughs> but it's also always great content. And it's what you like, a it's little surprise. Like. Bruh. Thank you for watching everyone. See you soon. Speak to you soon. Bye! Bye. Are, you just, are you just trying to warm up? Whoa! <laughs> You guys, I just filmed this so I could use this in the outtakes. You're just such an idiot. I want some more coconut and a little popcorn. <laughs> right, you go. Uh, what are we doing?